welcome back to third rate content yeah today we're here on the andrew logan art art trail because when i was here when we were here um recently um depending how recently depending on when, when this video is uh, released i didn't know anything about this sculpture behind me this uh quite distinctive and quite futuristic and quite beautiful egg giant egg which we're gonna have another closer look at in a minute so so i did some third rate research and it's part of the andrew logan art trail which is installation art sculptures um that have been installed around shrewsbury town center until august the 31st which today when we're filming this of course it won't be august 31st when you're watching this but traveling back in time when i'm standing here filming this it's august the 31st and and we're going to race around this trail and see if we can get them all all five pieces of art before they're taken away forever possibly and we're also do documenting it so it's there to be seen for future and future generations possibly and we'll talk about about that one day maybe uh, in a philosophical video but anyway today is the uh can we complete the andrew logan art trail before it's gone with third rate content buckle up and i'll see you later. so this piece is called the cosmic egg and it was created by uh, andrew logan for the greater london council in uh, 1982 part of their peace parade in Battersea and displayed there. <clears throat> the themes um, expressed and encapsulated in this are of swirling galaxies, primordial, um, primordial societies and um, universes, etc. Swirling and trying to find creation. Obviously the viewer being reflected in it, I guess is part of it as well. But anyway, this is really is an outstanding piece and it's good to actually know something about it now. And most of this information was provided by the, by the plinth that is displayed on. So yeah, wonderful. Andrew Logan. So the cosmic egg was in the grounds of Shrewsbury Castle in the town centre of Shrewsbury. Charles Darwin Shopping Centre. So this center. is stop two on the Andrew Logan sculpture trail. And this is the universe of smiles. So Andrew Logan was born in Whitney in Oxfordshire in England and was educated as an architect at the Oxford School of Architecture. He influenced the filmmaker Derek Jarman, whose early filmmaking work documented the social scene around Logan and his studios at Butler's Wharf, Butler's Wharf in London. Yeah, one of Logan's sayings or, you know, creeds is art can be discovered anywhere and i'll tell you third rate content agrees with that big time yeah this studio very influential vivian westwood malcolm mclaren staged the uh, valentine ball where the sex pistols played their first ever gig very influential yeah, so we're just outside shrewsbury museum formerly shrewsbury music hall I want to go in the, arts, the uh, sculpture trail to follow continues in here and we're also pieces of art from other well-known 20th century artists and sculptors such as Andy Warhol so we're gonna have a little look at what's going on in there and it's a uh, free admission at the moment we're just walking in entrance hall beautiful paved slabs I don't know if these are actually original they could well be um, yeah more cafe it's been a many a year since I've been in here but we're gonna head to the Roman gallery first. I don't think it's on the sculpture trail. Sort of uh, Roman artifacts, as you'd expect. Genuine gravestones, tomb markers <clears throat> from a noble who lived at Vernoculum, Roxeter, and served the Romans. And a good send off. The thinking path. We'll be one poet educated in truth. Damien Hurst paste. Mm -hmm. Good evening. 
Jim Reed. It's actually from Oswestry, not the Jim Reed from the Jesus and Mary Chain. A uh, self portrait of Andrew Logan. I say it, it's huge though, let's get some scale on it. Also by Andrew Logan. This is a portrait of David Hockney. This is Andy Warhol, Marilyn Mon Monroe, 1123. Iconic. <clears throat> and this is the piece we were looking for on the trail, love. Do you love yourself when you look into this? That's the question you've got to ask. Yeah, we're heading down to the next stop on the Andrew Logan sculpture trail. But I just want to mention something that I forgot to mention. And it is a sculpture, so it's, you know, about this. Does anybody know what that hand gesture is all about? Sort of like, it's a bit of a captain. No, Mr. Mr. Spock sort of thing. Is it secret society stuff? Is it just coincidence? Or... Or is it something I don't know what it is? But please comment. And I did mean to put it in the video the other week, but I forgot. Anyway, bad third rate content, put it right now. Hopefully. Yeah, into the dingle for the third, for the third time of 2022. It's Excalibur. The next stop we've got this one. I'm not sure if it's actually part of the trail. Well, it's been installed here since we came down here back in end of February. Andrew Logan sculpted this Excalibur in 1980. And it was made from the wing, one of the wings of, of one of his previous sculptures, Pegasus. And in the hilt of the sword, I said, to be all the civilizations that have come and gone throughout time interesting and i am a fan of michael moorcock so yeah it fits right in with that those themes and hawkwind it almost looks translucent i don't know if the camera is doing it any any justice kind of looks like you can see right through it yeah i really like this sculpture and it is so well placed brilliant yeah so we're leaving the dingle and the quarry now to go and find stop five on the andrew logan sculpture trail but this one I've, is the one I don't, I'm not 100% sure if we're gonna be able to see it because it's sighted in the theatre uh, over in Frankwell. And I have heard that it's um, only viewable when the theatre's open. So we're gonna have to, you know, hope we're lucky uh, and genuine fingers crossed because it's out of our control, but we're gonna have a look anyway. We're in Frankwell now. We are going to do a video on Frankwell, not today. Um, we're just going to see if we can see if there's any chance of seeing the uh, Andrew Logan Trail, the last piece. Yeah, just come inside and what do we see? Just what we're looking this for. This piece was commissioned by the NHS in 2020, so it's quite a recent piece. Um, you know, to to represent the energy fields used in the theory that we're all made of dust, space dust, which in a way we are, I suppose. I'd say we definitely are. And it's the energy fields that affect this dust that shape us into who we are. That's what this piece is signifying and summing up. Beautiful. Yeah, according to the placard, information placard, Andrew Logan founded in 1972 the very first alternative in this world. Something I never didn't know anything about and I'm going to go and have a look into very soon. Thank yeah, you. So Andrew. thanks for watching to the end of today's third rate content. Um, we got rounded more. You can see I'm a bit hot, but it's the 31st of August. So after tonight, they're gone and they're possibly gone for good from Shrewsbury. But it's been fantastic seeing him, um, getting to hear about Andrew Logan and learning a bit about him and uh, the motivations behind his art. Always interesting to know. But anyway, thanks for watching to the end. If I don't see you soon, I'll see you three times as soon. And don't forget to leave a like, subscribe 
and please comment i do love a good comment i read them all and um, it really does help the channel and i appreciate everybody who does these things especially the subscribers but thank you all and i will see you soon as i said <laughs> bye bye